It's April and I have middle school book recs. Yay! Hello and welcome back to Sari Reads. I'm so excited because today I get to talk about middle school books, middle grade books is what I should say. And I have five book recommendations for you. Two out of the five are graphic novels. So for those who love picture books, these will probably be right up your alley. So let's just get into it. I'm going to do the best I can to keep this video under... 15 minutes. I was going to say 12, but I want to be realistic. Okay. The first book that I have is called Blood City Rollers. And this book is by VP Anderson. The illustrations are by Tatiana Hill. This is a graphic novel. And this book made its debut on April 9th. And it is geared towards children between the ages of 8 and 12 years old. It's only 192 pages. So when you put that together with the fact that it's a graphic novel, this is a very short read. It goes for about $8.99 on your Kindle, about $21.99 for the hardcover on Amazon, and $13.99 for the paperback. Let's see what this book is about. It says, Ice Skater Mina is on a one-track path to Olympic gold and glory. That is, until she totally wipes out at her biggest competition and is kind of sort of kidnapped by undead kids on roller, on roller skates. Sucked into the high stakes world of paranormal roller derby, she finds herself recruited by a squad of vampires who need a human player to compete to complete their team just in time to save the league from losing it all. Between learning to play derby well enough to kick butt on the track, crushing hard on the dreamy team captain, isn't he a vampire? Okay, and navigating the spooky rules of the supernatural, how can Mina go go from striving to be a 10 alone to becoming one of nine chaotic bodies forming a perfectly imperfect team? Forget being the best. Will she be enough to help her new friends survive the season? So this book really sounds like it is something that is geared towards those who are big on teamwork or maybe need to learn how to, you know, work as a team blood city rollers may be right for that type of reader and again it is only 192 pages let's move on to the next book i think this is a graphic novel as well so i think i have three out of five of these wrecks are graphic novels and this one is just it's called just another story and this is a graphic migration account. So this is a graphic novel, but this is actually not a novel. This is a memoir. And it's by Ernesto Said, Sadie, and he's both author and illustrator. And I'm sorry that I butchered your name, Ernesto. I really do apologize. Um, and this book is 216 pages and it came out on April 2nd, 2024, and it is actually geared towards grades nine through 12. So this is actually more for those, uh, it's more on the mature side of things. So if you are an eighth grader, if you know an eighth grader, this may be right for them if they are at that maturity level. Let's see what this book is about. I have an idea. It says, when Carlos was 19 years old, his mother decided to leave her life in El Salvador for a new start in the United States. Reluctant to follow, but unwilling to let his mother go without him, Carlos joined her on the journey north. During their trip through Mexico and into the U.S., they experienced the risks and fears countless people from Central American countries have faced while migrating to different lands. Ten years later, Carlos shared these memories with his cousin, cartoonist Ernesto Said. I really want to say Said. 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 I, I'm, I, I'm so sorry. Like, that's just stumping me. The result of their conversation is just another story, a graphic migration account. So this is actually not a memoir. This is a more of a biography. This, this staring and thoughtful graphic work goes beyond headlines and statistics to provide a powerful individual account of migration. 
And once again, this book is geared towards kids between the ages of, or I'm sorry, grade level 9th through 12th. So that is about age 14, which I feel like, again, if you're in eighth grade, this, this would probably, um, it will probably be challenging for eighth graders, but nevertheless, something that they can definitely read into. They may have to come back a little later to digest, but they could digest some things here in this, um, graphic account. And I'm going to be honest with you. This is, this sounds like something that I would want to buy. So it's a uh, $9.99 on Kendo. The library binding of this book is $30 and 60 cents. Not a whole lot of people buy the library binding common folk. And the paperback version of this book is $17 and 99 cents. Just another story by Ernesto S. And book number three, Rec number three is Deep Water by Jamie Summer. And this book is 223 pages long. It is geared towards kids between the ages of 10, what well, says 10 years and up. And it came out on April 9th, 2024. So today, technically, but depending on when this video goes up, maybe tomorrow, maybe that's why I said April 9th. Okay. And so let's see what this book is about. It says six hours, one marathon swim. That's all Tully Birch needs to get her life straightened out. With the help of her best friend, Arch, Tully braves the waters of Lake Tahoe to break the record for the youngest person ever to complete the famous Godfather swim. She wants to achieve something no one in the world has done because if she does, maybe just maybe her mom will come back the swim starts off well heart steady body loose arch in charge of snacks as needed but for Tully all that time alone with her thoughts allows memories to surface and in the silence of deep waters sadness can sink you when the swim turns dangerous Tully fights for her survival does she keep going and risk her own safety and arches or does she quit to save them both even if it means giving up hope that her mother will return oh my goodness I I know this is for ages 10 years and up, but I'm going to have to read this book. This sounds amazing. And the Kindle version is $10.99. Uh, there's a hardcover version available for $17.99, which is a steal. And this actually comes in audio CD for $21.99. That is Deep Water by Jamie Sumner. I said Summer, but it's Sumner. Okay, book number four is by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley and it is called The Night War and this is historical fiction if I am not mistaken and Kimberly Brubaker Bradley is a two-time Newbery honor winning author so <sighs> I have high expectations let's see what this book is about it says, the summary reads, it's 1942, German Nazis occupy much of France and 12-year-old Miriam, who is Jewish, is not safe. With help and quick thinking, Mary is saved from the roundup that takes the, her entire Jewish neighborhood. She escapes Paris, landing in a small French village where the spires of the famous Chateau de Chenonceau rise high into the sky its bridge across the river Cher, like a like a promise a fairy tale but mary's life is no fairy tale her parents are gone maybe alive maybe not taken in at the boarding school near the chateau pretending to be catholic to escape nazi capture mary is called upon one night to undertake a deadly task one that spans the castle grounds its bridge and the very border to freedom here is her chance to escape hopefully to find her parents but will she take it one thing is certain the person mary needs that night will save her life and the person mary becomes that night could save the life Lives of many more and her return to the era of the war that saved my life and the war I finally won Kimberly Brubaker Bradley brings a new and different story one with a mystical twist that explores a little known slice of World War II history a highly unusual friendship and the power of choosing courage even when especially when there are no good choices to be had and this book 
the night war is geared towards children between the ages of 9 and 12 years old. It's 288 pages and it made its debut on April 9th. Yes, it did on April 9th. And so this sounds like an amazing book for anyone, anyone, not just kids, anyone who wants to um, remember the things that took place during World War II. It's good to remember and to not forget. Um, but there's like a mystical, it is fiction, but still it's based on true events. That's what makes it historical fiction. And it's got that mystical vibe to it. The Kindle version of this book is $10.99. Hardcover version is $16.90, which is again a steal. The paperback version is $15.71. This is another instance where if it came between the hardcover and the paperback I would say go for the paperback I'm sorry the hardcover because it's on it's less than a dollar more and hardcover books do last longer so again that is the night war by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley the last book last but never least is Isabel in Balloon and this is by May Respicio and it is geared towards ages 8 through 12 years old. This book is a little longer. It's 357 pages. So this is kind of a long read. And when did this book come out? It came out on April 9th, 2024. Let's see what this book is about. Now, I will say this. The cover of this book confused me a little bit because I the cover has me believing that this is a middle grade book it had me believing that I know now but then it also had me believing that maybe this was a picture book so I just want to put that out there let's see what this is about the summary reads 12 year old Isabel is the new kid in her San Francisco middle school it's the first time in many years that she'll be living with her mother again mama's job in the U.S. allowed Isabel and her grandparents to live more comfortably in the Philippines but now Isabel doesn't really know her own mother anymore making new friends in a new city a new country is hard but joining the gardening and cooking club at school means Isabel will begin to find her way and and maybe she too will begin to bloom. Oh, I love that. In this beautifully rendered novel in verse, May Respicio explores how growth can take many forms, offering both the challenges and joy of new beginnings. And I love the fact that this is rendered, rendered in a novel in verse type of vibe because this is indeed national national poetry month is in april so this is kind of giving i feel like it's giving a little nod to the fact that we are celebrating poetry um that's just my personal opinion and this book goes for $10.99 on Kindle and the hardcover version is $17.99. That is all of the books that I have for you as far as recommendations are concerned. I'm not going to lie and say that I'm going to put the, uh, the, the book recs and links and all that in the description because I typically end up forgetting to do that. But I want to thank you for stopping by Sari Reads on this Tuesday night, this Wednesday day, whenever you stop by. And I will see you next time. Bye.